Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to algebraically determine if a function is odd or even. And basically, the definition of odd or even functions is when we um, evaluate a function, if, if we plug in f of negative x and we get the exact same function back out, or our original function, then that is even. But if we evaluate for f of negative x and we get the negation of our function, then we call the function odd. If we plug in f of negative x and we do not either get the original function back or the negation of the function, then it is neither. And basically, even and odd functions, I'll do a video on, graph, on um, the different of how to determine if a function is even or odd using a graph. But basically, um, to think about it, you know, why is this kind of you know, important? Well, it's, it would be very helpful, especially when graphing. But looking at it, we can determine if a graph is even or odd based on its symmetry. If a graph is symmetrical about the y-axis, it's even. And if it's symmetrical about the origin, it's going to be odd. All right. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so basically, what we're all we're simply going to do is evaluate for each function for f of negative x. So therefore, we're going to replace x with negative x. So here I have a negative, negative x here. So I'm going to put that in parentheses, raised to the fourth, plus 2 times negative x squared minus 2. Now, as I go ahead and evaluate this, the member, when we're raising an x you know, to a power, or a negative x to a power, when you take a negative number, any negative number or variable, raise it to an even power, it's always going to be positive. When you take a negative number or a negative variable and raise it to an odd power, it's always going to be negative. So therefore, when I go ahead and simplify, a negative x to the fourth is positive x. Positive x times negative is going to leave us with a negative x to the fourth. This becomes positive, so it's going to be plus 2x minus 2. And what you can see is by plugging in negative x, I return the exact same equation that I originally, by exact same function, I'm sorry, that I originally have. So this is even. I'll use green to write my answer. OK, so now let's go to the next example. In the next example, again, we're going to do the exact same thing. You just evaluate for f of negative x. So now when I plug in negative x into this function here, I have 3 times negative x raised to the third power plus negative x. OK, well again, when you have a negative number of variable raised to an odd power, it's only going to become negative. So therefore, this becomes a negative x cubed times 3 is a negative 3x cubed. And then negative x plus a negative x is the same thing as a negative x. What you can see here is where this was a positive 3x cubed, and that's a positive x, it's now turned into a negative 3x cubed minus x. And that is the negation. And you might say, well, how is that neg you know, it's a negation? Another way to look at that is to factor that out. If you factor out the negative, then you're left with 3x cubed plus x. So it's the negation of your original function. Okay? But you don't need to write it like that. You just need to understand that this answer is odd. OK, so let's go ahead and look at the next one. Again, we're just going to evaluate for f of negative x. So I have f of negative x. Plug it in. So I have negative x divided by negative x cubed minus negative x. OK, well, a negative x is just going to be negative x. Negative x cubed is going to be a negative x cubed. And minus a negative x is going to be plus x. Or again, you can see the sign. Ms. Rosa, please come to the front office, please. Ms. Rosa. So you can see the sign is negated for all of them. So you could factor out a negative just like this. But you can, or you can also just write down the answer is odd. So now let's go and get into uh, the next set of examples. Hello. Come on. Uh, so now we're going to go and work on this function here. And again, we're just going to go through the following steps. Now, a lot of students will look at us and say, well, only if you have odd or if you have odd powers or even power, that's an even and odd. Well, yeah, it's very similar. E even powers make an even equation. Odd powers make an odd equation. But what about when you have them like mixed? Well, what happens here is if I plug in f of negative x, I turn here, I get a negative x cubed plus 2 times 
negative x squared minus 3. Well, this turns into a negative x cubed. This turns into a positive x squared, and then minus 3. So you can see that this is opposite. These are the same, and those are the same. So no, neither is it even or odd. So we call that neither. It's not even or odd. Um, in this example here, now I only have one power. I only have x to the 1. So some people might say, oh, well, it's odd. Well, again, evaluate it, and let's see. So if I evaluate this, I have f of negative 1 equals, there's nothing I can plug in for 3, so I leave it there. Then I have negative x plus 1. Well, negative x is just going to leave me with a 3 over negative x plus 1, which again is not the negation, because the negation would be all these terms are negated. Um, nor is it exactly the same. So again, this is another example of neither. OK, and for our last one. So our last one, again, we're going to evaluate for f of negative x. So I have 5. And again, you might think, oh, well, when you have numbers, it's not going to be true. Well, again, let's look at it. 5 divided by x squared. So when I have 5 divided by x squared, ba 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 5 divided by x squared okay, is going to be negative x squared. Well, negative x squared is just x squared. So I get 5 over x squared, which you can see is, again, my original equation. So therefore, this is an example of an even function. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you determine if a function is even or odd algebraically. Thanks.